Bye. Welcome back to the line. In recent weeks, the public learned surprising new details about the investigation into the murder of 10 year old Victoria Martins in Albuquerque in 2016. Now, her mother, Michelle Martins, told officers that she watched as her boyfriend, Fabian Gonzalez, and his cousin, Jessica, and her cousin, his cousin, sorry, Jessica Kelly, raped and killed Victoria, but it turns out that wasn't true. And the evidence points to another man who has not been identified. The Albuquerque Police Department now continues to investigate what happened and who was responsible for her death. Eric, do you trust APD to investigate high-profile cases like this now? I, I, I want to throw a real fundamental question out there because throw in the DA's office you want to as well, but something seems quite off here when you look at the how this investigation was done. I mean, the whole thing is just so heartbreaking. I mean, you know, I'm hoping that with new leadership at the DA's office and with our new mayor that, mm -hmm. that there's, I'm glad there's a fresh look at this, not just a plenty of mistakes were made clearly, mm -hmm. but that there's a deeper commitment to really look at all the evidence. Um, and, you know, Adrian and I were talking about this and really, how did we get here? Right. right. I mean, we're so focused yeah. on the, on the, the horrific nature of this crime, but how, how did we get here? How did this poor young 10 year old get here? The, right. the, 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 the drug addiction issues and the violence issues involved in the whole scenario. Th this is stuff that we should have been looking at way upstream, mm -hmm. and it's just tragic that that now we're arguing over the sort of the, the, the end result of just a, an absolute failure in our system. Right. You know, Mary, you, uh, Mr. Torres had come in, and this thing was in right. process. He's made a point in his interviews that this thing was about four or five months old. Right. Does he get a pass on that because of that? Well, it depends on who you ask. Okay. Okay. If you are a supporter of Raul. Uh, Taurus, then you think he should get a pass mm -hmm. because the crime was committed in August of 16. He comes in in January of 17. Okay, all right. But if you're not really a supporter, you want to hold him to task and say, dude, you've had this case for 17 months and you have known since November yep. of 2016 that the OMI, with the OMI report, that there were massive holes right. in the mom's story. And we're just finding this out now, so I don't think he gets a pass. The other thing mm -hmm. that the, you need to remember last summer he did really slam the courts and slammed criminal defense attorneys right. uh, for, it's all their fault, all these cases are dismissed, yet he's, he has negotiated this plea agreement that she could very well only serve four years. And there's prominent criminal defense attorneys are crying foul on that and he may very well face opposition in the primary now because, because of, of that. That's right. Interesting. Facebook's not having it, Merritt Allen. I mean, it's just blowing up. People are not happy about this mm -hmm. plea thing at all. How do, how do they work forward from this to make something right here for the, for the public? Well, uh, I mean, I, to uh, Eric's point, this is just a complete system failure. Right. Uh, and What's heartbreaking is the fact that the incident took place is a system failure. Mm -hmm. But we see us almost two years down the road still rambling around this with no, I, I, I mean, what, what is fixed? And that's, uh, that's a huge concern. And I think Mary's point about Torres, he has had time. Uh, you know, it's great that he spent $100,000 on DNA testing out of state because our system was broken. Right. Why is our system broken? Right. Uh, my Why were things left no untested money. for so long? Right. Right. That's amazing to me. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, no and then, records. and then, right. uh, you know, uh, police procedures, and oh, we got a confession. Case right. closed. Uh, you know, that's a, you know the uh, criminal defense attorney I live with is mm -hmm. screaming right. over that. But, right. but really, those the police officers, you've got to realize for them, this was a horrendous act, and you have a woman, a mom, who's just apathetic and right. they're trying That's to right. deal with that plus dealing with this horrible crime and you've got to believe that the police were trying to do the best that they could. I would you agree. just have to believe that. I would agree and I think you know, I guess the last point Please. is I think everybody um, involved in this case has been trying to do the best they can. Mm -hmm. Our systems are not uh, properly staffed, funded or managed that we can right. prosecute competently. Right, That's exactly. Pick up on that yeah, this, yeah, I mean, this this is a tragedy that is a symptom mm -hmm. of the the larger disease, right? right. We right. It, it reminds us of the importance of our institutions of fully funding and staffing CYFD, DOH, mm -hmm. HSD, PED. Which is why unions are important. And, <laughs> it is, and and um, you know these so I'm glad systems. You just did that. It is an ecosystem, isn't it? All those acronyms right. you just laid out there. Right. It's every it's one of those things. These yeah. these systems failed Victoria when they failed Michelle. Right. And and for 
for for us, this means that we, uh, I mean, with with a governor who willingly dismantled our, our behavioral health system, mm -hmm. um, we are going to continue to see cases like this until we have new leadership and, mm -hmm. and people who are courageous enough to uh, do the bold things that need to happen to, to shore up the sustainability of these systems. Mm -hmm. Uh, earlier this week, Mary Torres, mm -hmm. Chris Ramirez at Channel 4 had a really mm -hmm. good piece yeah. kind of looking at this, sitting with a former officer, they were kind of parsing exactly. what these guys sure. did right or wrong during the interviews. Sure. It was so enlightening to, to watch this because when you see the transcripts and hear of how the, the, uh, the questions the officers asked her, mm -hmm. I'm not a cop, I can't judge, mm -hmm. certainly, but it would seem to me it was pretty clear that this woman had some mental health issues Definitely. right Definitely. off the bat. Right. And there was a different line of questioning that should have been right. there. Exactly. And the bigger mistake that the wrong unit, the Crimes Against Children unit, was, should have been the ones exactly. doing this interview who instead were of homicide so, people. Who were so trained Thank and you. have that kind of training. Not knocking the police officers, right. but it does seem... and. To Raul's point, mm -hmm. mistakes were made in the first 12 hours. Right. And that's that's where they're going. So right. I think he's going to get some, have some processes in place that look, this crap is not happening again. Right. You know, let's hope this never happens. For the long game, it but, could be a good right. thing for the office, but right. again, like you but were saying again, earlier, right. it, finish up here, we've got about, about a minute left. Can the office, you know, certainly recover with this with a, with a different sort of a, a result? Say they press this a little bit further, the well, public accepts it. Everything's good. You know? I, well, I certainly, I certainly think um, uh, APD and uh, the DA's office have been for several years uh, uh, more in the case of APD to reform, to get the right, uh, the right culture. It's a cultural change. That's right. But one thing we see in New Mexico is, regardless of who's in power, our systems seem to be broken. Right. And we've got to. Uh, th this is as much a management issue as it is a funding issue, as mm -hmm. much as it is an. Ethics. It's bigger than any right. one person's ability to manage an entire department and just fix something. Right. It's difficult. That's all the time we have this week. Let us know what you think of this story or any other topic we covered this week by going to NewMexicoInFocus.com or connecting with us on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching. See you next week.